Good morning, Clive. You haven't posted for a couple of days. Why is that then? <laughs> Life's taking over. Inevitably, sometimes that um, we go through our daily lives and all of a sudden, there's just this onslaught of things to do. Things have got to be done. Life gets in the way. Phone calls come in. Emails, texts, Facebook, Instagram posts, YouTube, comments. My life is all about social media. It is absolutely unbelievable. Sometimes I just can't think. And then I've got my normal day-to-day -day things to do, like shopping and taking a dog for a walk and bills to pay, work to do, house to sort out. Wow. And that's the same for everybody, isn't it, today? It is. It can, it can get just get too much sometimes. How do we cope with that? Well, we just have to. We just have to. And then we've got this, this time of the year now that's coming up, which is Christmas. And we've got all that to think about. We've got family to invite over. Or we've got to go and see family. We've got the dinner to organise. We've got food to buy. We've got all this stuff. We've got to get presents organised. When do we start buying presents? I don't know. When's the best time? When's the best time to put a tree up? Some people say it should be the 1st of December. Some people say it should be Christmas week. Some people put their tree up in October, even September. Is that right or is that wrong? It doesn't really matter, does it? It's all down to the individual. It's all down to you and what you see and how you want your Christmas to be. And then we got the financial strain of paying for all this stuff. You know, we might be on a short budget. We might be of limited income. Um, on the other hand, we might be super rich. <laughs> I don't know. How do we do all this? Um, I know when I was growing when I was growing up, we had very little. I also know that I brought three children up, and um, it was a struggle, especially this time of year, because kids are kids. I want, I want, I want. I want a push bike. I want this and that. I want an Atari. I, I want a. I want. I want a. Um, a Sega, <laughs> this is what my kids were asking me for. Today it's all iPhones. My grandson came up to me the other day and said, Bambi, can you have an iPhone 11? <laughs> no, <laughs> don't be stupid. I haven't got an iPhone 11. <laughs> and this is it, isn't it? Everybody wants makes, they want the Reeboks and the, the Adidas and the, the um, Lacoste and, and, the, uh, and the Calvin Kleins and all these things that cost super amounts of money and and as parents sometimes we just haven't got that and we feel we feel guilty that we can't give the children this um, and I think that's more so these days than what it was years ago especially when I was growing up you know I wanted to put I remember I wanted a I wanted a bike a derailleur we call them a derailleur it's a little racing bike with drop handles on it really wanted one of them and my father said I don't think Father Christmas is going to be able to get that for you this year, Clive. But we'll see. And I know my father, I didn't see my father for a, for quite a while because he was, my mother said, Man, where's dad? He's in work, he's in work, he's in work. And he was working and he was, at the time he was, he was working on the railroad roads then and, um, and he'd come home and he'd go and do hobbles. Um, what I mean is come home from work like a 12 hour shift and go out and do some work. Like, wallpaper a bedroom on a weekend and and all this other stuff that that they do to provide for us as children um which put me in good stead at a later part of my life because it taught me the value of of what hard work can bring um as we pass on to our children these 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 things and um there was a push bike not the one i wanted there was a push bike under the tree that year and I knew Father Christmas was a very special person then. I was old enough now to know and understand that they made me, um, your parents would have to help Santa <laughs> with certain things. And, uh, but I did, I, and I still do believe in Santa Claus. I really do because I think that there's a bit of Santa in every single one of us especially this time of year, especially if you're on a limited budget, a very limited income, you know, um, I think it's important that 
um, we, 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 we give what we can and that's the most important thing. So, there you go. It's a little bit of sand on all of us. I'll be going to Cardiff soon, um, be walking down the high street there and I see a lot of homeless people and you know, you, 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 you think to yourself these days, are they truly homeless or, they, or a couple of these people are trying to just take advantage of the kindness of, of people, but we don't know, we can't judge. We don't make judgments like that. If you've got a couple of pound in your pocket and you want to drop them in a pot or you simply just want to go and buy somebody a Starbucks coffee and say, you know, have a coffee on me or or a Greg's pasty or something like that. Some act of kindness over this festive period goes a long way to make somebody happy. And whether or not some of these people are not genuine, and I know for a fact that some of these people aren't, um, they just take advantage of people's kindness. It's not about so much about the giving uh, the, the receiving of these these gifts. It's not about it's not about g giving this stuff to the people. It's about how you feel inside. How does that act make you feel? Do, do you feel good that you've at least tried to help, and at least given something to someone? Let's put a smile on their face. Walking down the street, seeing a neighbour, and asking, "Is there anything you like down the shop today, Mrs. Jones?" You know, these little things could go a long way to make you a better person and make you feel I'm the warm glow inside you. And as I said, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere I go. So have a little bit of joy and happiness. Even on a down day, a little act like that sometimes, or a kind word will lift your spirits. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day is making you feel good about yourself and in the process making somebody else happy in their day of gloom and that's what this time of year is all about giving sharing and experiencing the joy of the season okay so i've said enough i'm off bye <laughs>